This is an introduction to how to use your account in the Calido platform. So you begin with going to your email and going to the URL that's been sent to you. Typically your username will be your email ID and the password will be Calido or lowercase unless you've changed it. Now, once you log in as an administrator, you've got access to an administrative dashboard over here. This is different from students who typically log in and see their courses. You've got a quick overview telling you how many courses you've got, how many users you've got, and then what team the users are in. If you wanted to then look at the courses which are available to students, you go here on the top right and switch to Learner View. Once you're in the Learner View, it shows you courses that are in progress, which are past due, or haven't been commenced yet. To see all of them together, simply go to your course library, and all of the courses are now available to you over here. You'll notice that you've also got educator versions, which are over and above the courses available to students. And the reason for this is that these educator versions now contain resources for you as an educator to take things forward in the classroom or to use while supervising a research project with your students. Let's now quickly look at what else you can do with your administrative account. So I'm going to go back into your admin view. The first most important thing you can do is monitor activity. So if you go down here to reports, you can simply go here to create a report and you'll be interested most likely in the user results report unless you're um, a principal or a head of school who's got access to more than one team and wants to compare performance across teams. Just a quick note, a team will typically be one group of students or one class of students. So we go here to create report and you can just say everyone, all courses, run report. What it's doing here now is for every person, it's telling me for every course they've got assigned, what's been their progress. If I want to dig deeper into this, I can click on the course and it shows me for every module within the course, how many attempts they've made, what's been their score, how long they've taken, last attempt, and also their status. So this is a really good way of having a really quick overview of how your team's doing and what's been their activity on the platform, how many attempts they've made, how well they're doing in terms of their understanding and scoring. Again, you'll note here that the way in which the terminology works is we've got a course, but the course is a collection of modules which students have to complete. Now, let's say you wanted to dig down deeper than this. What you could do then is go back to reports and look for a report by a user. So I click here on people, and I choose a particular person's report to pull up. In here, I can go into every course they've been active on, but I can further click into any module, and it shows me here their data on a question by question basis. I can see on their third attempt, this was their score, this is how long they took to finish that attempt. I can look at what that looked like for their second attempt. And again, I can look at what that looked like for their first attempt. So this is really helpful because it helps you uh, drill deeper into one student's performance if need be. The other thing you can do is any report that you're viewing, if you're interested in having that report be delivered straight to your inbox on a recurring basis, you can simply go here and choose to download or schedule the report, give it a title, and then ask for it to be downloaded or scheduled. And then do you want it to come to you just once, daily, every Monday, first of every month? Or you can also choose the PDF or CSV format. Or, of course, you can choose to just download it now if that's what you'd like. That was a quick overview of what the reporting looks like.